Good afternoon. It's the 28th of March, 23. I'm sitting in the car park at Bertha. Library. Pink blossom and trees. Pink blossom and trees look, uh, well, they've taken on the same appearance as most of the people in Bertha. Look quite miserable, the blossoms. I came through today because it was, uh, well, the weather's rather inclement for anything else. I had business to attend to. But I'm just uh, ready to take off from here before a sneaky traffic warden comes around. Um, the reason I've decided to open the camera and point it up there is, uh, well, person passing doesn't want a camera, I'm sure. That is where I um, had a wander with the up and down on the 21st of December 2020 when we met each other um, just up that way to the left hand side. I'm not turning my camera because there's a, a female. Well, she looks very fucking miserable. Not just because of the rain, she's got a hood up, but just up there in that direction. I met up and down and um, not knowing if she's going to speak after a, an absence of 10 years, I I thought for a moment, uh, it's her, it's her. Oh my God, all split second stuff, I mentioned it before, not point two of a second, brain registered, it's up and down, what the fuck? Is she going to speak? And then our body language opened up and she was uh, a big lilac, purple and red aura. So happy to see me. And um, let me just uh, give this window a little bit of a wipe. And I thought to myself, I says, um, I don't like the colours in that fucking sign over there, actually. Um, I'm not very much a fan of yellow and blue together. What am I doing? Oh, yes. Give it a bit of a wipe. And, um, anyway. What am I talking about, Andrew? Yeah, so, uh, after a little chat, and uh, because of the uh, COVID situation, we weren't even able to hug each other, which I thought, well, you just should have taken a chance. I'd rather have hugged my dear friend up and down and, um, you know, caught COVID, if it was uh, such a thing as COVID. But... Um, Anyway, she's, she made a delightful statement. She says, uh, would you like to go for a coffee? And I said, well, that's a marvellous idea. Where should we go? Everything will be closed. That's what I'm saying. It's just bad timing with this bloody lockdown and stuff to meet her. Uh, although I did, I'm so pleased to meet her. Anyway, she... Um, I think I suggested we go to the, the library. And uh, so we wandered up there and she's telling me about uh, certain things medically about her. And um, I thought she was going to reveal all. But anyway, um, we had a, a really nice chat and then we wandered back. And I, I've mentioned before, I, I don't know why I'm talking about this today. I think I know. I've been seeing Roman numerals. Um, I'll have to look them up. I keep seeing car registration for these particular letters which represent some numbers in Roman numerals. And um, I don't want to be too explicit, but uh, yeah, it kind of spells out the initials of uh, a name. We, um, wandered back towards the bus station 
And she was in such a joyous mood, I must say, and I... I do regret immensely not taking advantage of uh, the moment and saying, look, let me forget what I've got to go home for and let us spend a little time sitting chatting. But um, there was such a gap from that day until uh, she reached out uh, just, uh, just a year ago. It would have been on the... Uh, I think around the 25th of March, if I remember correctly. I better load my camera from the uh, approaching person. And then I think to myself last March how wonderful the weather was and how wonderful it was to be in touch with her, only for her to have a meltdown. But it's all history now, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. I was just thinking now that um, this is certainly not the weather you're getting Lagada. I understand that the UV rating, I think we've got number one today, meaning you chance of getting a sun channel with this weather is zero. But in uh, the Garda, it's already up to number nine, number ten. Sort of meaning if you prance about in the open air, even for 20 minutes you will be uh, severely burnt in the Egyptian sunshine by the Red Sea. It was number five when I was there. Yes, it's too intense, the sunshine. But I better get away from this car park because uh, otherwise there will be a, a debate with the traffic warden who's probably sitting right behind me at the moment uh, out of uh, mirror's view or right in a slip. Although you don't see much of them in wet days, do you? Yes, it's a pity up and down failed the mission, isn't it? It really is. As I say, never cry over spilled milk when it's not your fault. I take no responsibility for the betrayal. Okay, so I'm now in the west edge of uh, Bertha. Mind you, it's not that big a place. But uh, very low vibrational. Um, I forgot those roadworks along this way because it was a big detour to get here. But I decided that um, with all the uh, fucking around down at, um, excuse my French, with all that mucking around down at uh, B&M constantly, I thought I'd revert back to uh, some classic days with uh, Tesco coffee. This is a, actually a very good coffee, and I notice it's only gone up 25 pence in about uh, 17 years. Actually, it's not. It, it used to be one pound 80 pence, and then it went up to two pound. I think it was well gradually, but it's 225. It's still good value um, for a coffee. That's the reason I like to put something into the coffee, like Coffee Mate, because uh, if you drink uh, that Tesco Classic on its own, you well, you want to vomit, don't you? But, um... But if I... Fuck, uh, this is true. I mean, this is... I'm telling you, my days are always screwy, booey. But I pulled up here. I decided to go in. I never carry a basket. I think I've mentioned to, the, to you folks many, many times. I'd rather fucking drop something and break it than uh, carry a basket. Uh, too tempting to fill it. But what I had done was I, uh, I decided, well, since I'm through here, I'll, I'll nip in. I don't like buying toilet roll uh, in, in Creef. Uh, I just don't like doing it. Uh, it tends to, you tend to get a lot, enough, a lot more attention in the, uh, the shop when you're um, buying toilet roll. People stare at the, 
at the conveyor belt of your starting to check out in any of the stores and I don't like it so normally when I'm in Bertha I'll nip into Tesco the last time I did this I bought um, a multitude of um, uh, goods for uh, up and down but uh, that was again not appreciated probably chucked in the recycle bin as normal uh, I hope she did put it to good use because um, it would have been such a waste and uh, uh, a chronic waste and I think if you if you discard something of that nature um, then you're obviously going to attract some karma in regards to lack so, if, um, so for example if you uh, you know if, if someone bought you a loaf of bread just for example and that wasn't what I did that day but say somebody bought you a loaf of bread and you decided oh I don't want that bread I don't know where it's been you chucked it in the bin well you're going to be short of bread for, for well many many days in your life because of that uh, action every time you go to make toast you think oh, there's no fucking bread um, but anyway I, I, I zipped into this uh, Tesco stores uh, on the west edge here and uh, what I did was I thought well let's go to, for the loo I don't have any prostate problems but I, I thought I'll nip into the, the loo and uh, half of them, the cubicles well all the cubicles were being used and uh, I mean, it is lunchtime, and that's one of the reasons I come in. Well, it's not, it's late lunch, it's, it's half past one now. Uh, one of the reasons I come into the, uh, the, any stores at lunchtime is because of, I previously mentioned, less low vibrationals, and also the fact that uh, you get a wee bit more reasonable music in Tesco's uh, around lunchtime, a bit of Sinatra, and sometimes you get some Tony Bennett and stuff like that, but uh, if you go in at the weekends, it's, uh, it's just fucking nonsense music, you know? But, um... Not to make this too long, uh, I caused a huge stir. What I'm saying is, the, the three cubicles were were used up. I, I never I never publicly display myself on a on a cubicle. Um, well, that, that doesn't sound right, Andrew. What I mean is, I never sit down in a public cubicle. Never. I'd rather um, I'd rather mess myself than use a public cubicle. Um, but anyway, the story is uh, the urinals were uh, all uh, out of order apart from one. But the one person standing next to it having a piss was uh, low vibrational. Uh, elderly low vibrational. And I thought to myself, well, stuff this. I'll just go into the disabled toilets. And uh, I thought, as I locked the door, I thought, yeah, this is not a good idea. If somebody um, you know, is desperate and you come out striding out uh, then you might get a ticking off well I ended up getting a fucking worse than that um, when I went to flush just having a piss I saw this big red cord and I just fucking yanked it uh, thinking that was a flush point but it turns out that that was the alarm <laughs> and uh, I, oh, I heard this fucking like, screaming bleeping noise and I uh, thought no typical fucking me I feel like Mr Bean or Stan model at some times, it always seems to go wrong for me. And uh, so when I came out, uh, all the Tesco staff were rushing towards the fucking cubicles and uh, uh, you know, customer toilets. And uh, I had to wave my hands and say, it's it, it, it's an accident. I've, uh, uh, well, it wasn't an accident, I've messed myself. It's just a, an accident of, uh, you know, pulled the cord instead of flushing the fucking thing. Um, so anyway, that, that meant that everybody did these uh, electronic checkouts, you know, item and bag, item and bag, fucking nonsense. Uh, no, item, what is it? Uh, unidentified item in the uh, bagging area. Yeah, that's it. Beep, beep, un unidentified uh, item in bagging area. And then you like, I mean, it's, anyone who uses that service has got to be fucking, their head must be immense. Uh, I first and only time you used it was in Morrison's and I remember a guy who was uh, a couple of these away from me he ended up um, Morrison's supermarket that is he ended up uh, chucking his basket full of groceries fucking straight across the place because he was so frustrated uh, and I, I, I felt sorry for him I can understand it was just uh, it was so fucking annoying so I, I never used that either it's just uh, and also I don't uh, 
I'd rather stand the queue and keep a member of staff in a, in a job than uh, use these automatic things. Uh, what am I talking about? So, I, I, yeah, so after um, creating uh, a whole drama as I walked in, I felt a little vibrational when I'd done that, actually. Um, and all the staff, and all these customers at that point were all looking over and going, what? Uh, yeah, you don't look... Uh, well, anyway. So moving around the store, I, um, I got the uh, toilet rolls, which I was looking for. So that should do me for quite a while. I, I don't have the... Uh, I mean, I'm regular enough, but I don't... I mean, I, I'm not like some people, you know, go through wades of the stuff every day of the fucking life. Um, tell you, I think that what, what you need to do is... Uh, seriously, uh, Kleenex used to do a, a wonderful um, box of tissues. I don't know if they still do. They must do them. Actually, the mask, because I think we've got something here. Yeah. I bought some last year. Oh, I know what I was doing with that. When I was up at Amory Car Park, I've still got it uh, on my memory system somewhere in the computer, but um, instead of... Um, instead of saying, Big issue! Get your big issue! I was uh, holding that and uh, shouting, uh, big tissue, get your big tissue here. It was rather stupid, but uh, in fact, people thought, how peculiar, what's he up to now, this chap? But, um, so anyway, Kleenex, um, but it used to be, that's what I'm saying, that's another thing. This used to be a, ma I remember like, um, when I was young, that these boxes, you, could, you had to use two hands to fucking carry it. Uh, from this, you know, Andrew, go down and get some, get down and some Kleenex, bro. You get a man-sized box. Um, now you get feminine boxes as well, but, um, anyway, the story is, there used to be a little handy andies. You remember those little pocket-sized handkerchiefs? You know, you got a, a bundle of them, really good quality as well. In fact, such good quality, you could use them as napkins. But, uh, why am I not turning on the way I am today, Andrew? Come on, get the story finished. And, uh, anyway, so I bruised around, no, cruised around um, the store and I bought the uh, toilet rolls which will last a long time and I bought coffee and I bought Thai food tea bags, I thought a hundred for a pound is not bad do you know what I mean and if you say to someone uh, that works out at one pence each how do you work that out 